can see I'm just demonstrating the parts that uh, you get with your Fat Shark Predator V2 kit, uh, the transmitter, various cables and the filter, um, all, all of which uh, will slot together using my uh, custom under tray. There's the custom under tray itself with this little door. This is the uh, full custom under tray with the built-in housing for the uh, Phantom TX and we've got some spacers, you'll need four spacers, brass, 25 millimeter, male to female. Uh, I'm just demonstrating here that um, I take the auxiliary power out of the leg, um, I just put it into one of these so-called chocolate blocks and then I've just got a little cable that will plug into the filter to provide power to the setup. So this is the basics of how you get your FPV under tray together. It utilises these four screws, uh, the innermost screws on your legs. Um, all you need to do first and foremost is to take all of them out. You will reuse these screws, they fit directly into those brass spacers as long as you bought the right ones. Um, M3 screws, so we'll just remove all of those. So next you take your spacers, these are the like I say 25mm male to female hex brass spacers. Um, I did use nylon ones originally um, which does save a little bit of weight. Problem is with the nylon is the threads are very very easy to, th to actually um, to, to th uh, red thread themselves. Um, basically I had a problem where I cross threaded them into the uh, into the legs and you really don't want to risk having everything falling off so I chose the brass ones the inserts on all of these legs they're actually brass inserts so there's no cross contamination of metals anything like that and this really does give a nice solid sturdy feel to your uh, your tray um, it also of course pre prevents uh, the vibration um, and uh, as I said before it prevents the, uh, the the chance of the under tray falling completely off so all four of these just slot into the existing screw threads if you've got a little wrench you can just uh, tighten them up or maybe a pair of pliers um, hand tight seems to be fine I normally give them a little tweak just to be safe okay so here we have the actual under tray as you can see at the front there is the TX holder what we're going to do now is uh, just going to size that up you can see how it fits on all of the spacers that's where the screws are going to go first and foremost I'll just demonstrate how the TX actually slots into the uh, into the TX holder like I say this is the full under tray this uh, this TX holder is mounted as an integral part of this particular kit um, I do have versions that are separate um, so you can have a choice of whether you want to have the TX on or off but this particular one is all fully built in so TX just slips in there little housing door clips in it's fairly secure uh, it, it does vary a little bit as to whether or not the uh, the producing of the 3D print um, will make it very tight. Um, I have experienced sometimes some of my prototypes have come out where you just need to sand it down a little bit. Um, for security I've left two holes as you can see on this particular one I've just threaded it with a screw so you can just screw it down and you can be sure that your TX is going to be held nice and tight and it's not going to go anywhere. And then the second screw into the second hole. This particular version I haven't bothered using uh, any nuts on the back of these. Like I say I've actually threaded the uh, the holes but you could use nuts, you could use split pins, you could use anything you want to really. Um, uh, at one point I even used a, a little bit of uh, thick garden wire, just looped it around, just something to uh, to prevent it from slipping out. Okay, that's in as you can see. 
no movement, no rattle, plenty of space, plenty of air. The top of that little fat shark gets very hot when it's actually working, so um, I've made sure that there's plenty of space. So now we take the cable, that simply goes into the back, as you can see at the back of the TX holder, there's space for all of the cables to plug in. So all we need to do is simply click it in there. There we go. And then the next thing is to actually run the cable down the side. Now this is where these uh, handy little holes come in. This gives you the ability of just making things a little bit neater. You can just do a little over under or a, uh, a loop around. I'll show you that in a moment. Now we're going to fit the Fat Shark filter housing. A uh, little bit of Velcro, tiny little bit I've got here, just a um, bit I actually had lying around. All you do is you just slot it in through the top slot of the lid. And then you take the base unit, which is just here. Pop your filter housing on top of it. It does go a specific way round, so make sure you test it before you uh, go too far with it. It does actually fit only one way, so uh, it will prevent you from actually putting it on in the wrong direction. But there we go. So that just pops on there. Clip down, and then just like the TX holder, there's two holes and uh, on this particular model I'm using nuts and bolts again garden wire something simple there's not a lot of movement once it's up there but uh, something just to secure the two Okay, so that's our filter in the housing. Now what we want to do is actually fit this filter housing to the under tray. Um, I've just got to adjust the Velcro, make sure it's looped the right way. Um, I've made the actual filter housing so you can actually loop it in any direction you want, just in case you're not using this on a Phantom or actually with the under tray, but now that's the right direction. So as you can see, Slider is on, slip it into the little slot. Turn it upside down and then we just secure it with the Velcro. On there nicely, a little bit of movement but that's not going to be a major problem at all. And then this is where we're just going to run our cable. I just do a nice simple round and about loop through the holes. Actually, this isn't how everyone will do it, but this is uh, the beauty of it. You can decide how you want to run it. You can cut your cables to length if you, uh, if needs be. I find this way works for me because um, in this particular mode, where we're not running a dual battery, it just keeps all the cables neat. Nothing's hanging around. Nothing's getting in the way, and that's all fitted. So now all we've got to do is we've just got to mount the under tray to the spacers. Just as I showed before, it just fits down, slots right on top of those spacers. Then we've just got to grab the M3 screws that we removed earlier, and we've just got to screw them all on.
Okay, and finally, uh, this particular cable, um, this was one that I purchased, uh, didn't come with the actual um, Fat Shark, but this is the cable so you can mount a Hero 3 camera. There's two fittings on this particular cable. First one is for the, uh, the actual power and the audio output, and the one that I'm just going to tuck away here is the 5 volt output. You can, in fact, power your GoPro Hero 3 from the Fat Shark TX, um, which means you're actually going to be powering it from the uh, the Phantom itself. I tend not to do that. I prefer the Phantom batteries to do whatever they can, and my Hero battery, given that it's a fairly short life, will power the uh, the camera itself. So as you can see, it's just really a question of routing the cables, and that's where it's going to just plug in right there. Okay, now finally all I'm going to do is show you the GoPro Framish that is also available in my shop. Um, as you can see, same principle very much as the actual GoPro frame. Um, we just simply bend the, uh, the white nylon around the Hero. All slots in, very nice and secure. Very lightweight. Access to all the buttons. Wi-Fi button. All the slots down the side. All the inputs. And all we need to do now is just mount this as per usual on the underside. And we just do that up. and then we can take our input cable and pop it in the USB connector so it's now all linked up to the Fat Shark just adjust the focus there and there you go as you can see it all fits in nicely color wise the white nylon really suits the uh, the Phantom with the white body held nice and secure by those brass spacers cameras going nowhere TX is going nowhere, nice neat cabling and uh, don't forget to check out my other videos in regards to the dual battery cage which uh, will also fit on this setup.